Hello, good and fans. This is Prime92, and today I'll be looking at the 10144 high grade GM Sniper K9 from the Gun and Build Fighter series. So, it is the GM Sniper 2 that we've already gotten. I think it was last year. Just recolored, and it gives us all these new lighter gray pieces for the armor. And it does have some stickers. You got the little green on the side of the head, uh, the yellow on the torso, and here, and on the shoulder. And that's the normal stickers. Now, the, in the show, uh, this mobile suit could use the XAM system, which made the clear green visors red. But they, instead of giving us clear uh, red pieces that are exactly, it's like two pieces, exactly the same, you have to use stickers. So, kind of annoying. Definitely a, a cheap way out. It would have been nice to have clear red, but they didn't, so... Other than that, that is my only real problem with how this thing is uh, put together. The GMs, they've already gotten the uh, design of the GMs pretty down on uh, stability and just overall look. So this is still pretty good. Now the head goes up and down, a little forward and back, rotates. Arms can go forward and rotate and out. Rotate below the shoulder, one jointed elbow. Ball jointed wrist, ball jointed stomach, and a swivel waist. Ball jointed front skirts, uh, hinge side skirts. Legs can go forward and back, separate from the waist, not that much. They can go out, forward, not back, rotate at the hip, double jointed knee. You got a hinge ankle and a ball jointed foot and a hinge uh, foot armor. So it's still not super amazing, but then the GMs never were. That this is just how they're designed. So it's not terrible, but it's nothing that we haven't come to expect. And now on the suit, there are the beam saber handles from all the uh, the other GMs, the uh, well, especially specifically the GM sniper, which are fine. They uh, hold in the hand pretty good, and these are these ones are pretty secure. Sometimes they're not. And sometimes they are. And you get two clear pink beams. And we also have the sniper, a sniper rifle, with uh, two stickers for scopes. And it does have a peg in the hand, so you can use the uh, trigger for It's only made for the uh, right hand, because it's only on the one side. So you can just pop that out. And. Put it like that, and there it is. And you have, uh, if I can find it, an open hand, so you can you have them hold it with the other hand. Uh, you've also got another trigger finger hand for the left hand, and another trigger finger hand for the right hand, which is actually bent a little bit, which will come in handy for uh, if you want to have it a different pose with the hand, so it's a good idea. And they both have little holes in the hands, so you can peg on the uh, weapons. Now, why would you need a peg for the left hand? Well, this guy comes with a pair, of, there's the other one, of pistols. And how you mount these, you have to take the leg off. And it just slides up onto the hip. Now, I do have a problem. It, it does make the leg a little bit longer. Oopsie. <laughs> but it also... It makes, it, it makes it a little easier for the leg to actually come off the uh, hip. So, you might find they come off a little too easily. But they're not really going to like fall off. And the pistols are stored right in there. And they come out pretty nicely. And they look cool. I like them. <clears throat> and these are, of course, for the hands with the pegs, and actually they're specific for each hand. One has a peg on one side, and one has a peg on the other. So you can finally use the other trigger finger hand, which is good. And they hold them 
pretty well. Uh, I find this ball joint is anyways a little bit loose, but it's just a hand. I also have a machine gun with another peg, so it's only for the right hand. Another sticker. You've got a shield that the uh, GM had. Rotating handle. Pegs onto the bottom. <clears throat> like that. And a knife. Which I don't think it used in the show. Which is a little silly. And if I can find the hand. There we go. It does hold it. Pretty securely. And I really like how it stores. It just pegs right here. Like that. Actually pretty convenient. Although the uh, model... It almost reaches it. Not quite. It's very close. Oops. And finally, the main attraction for the uh, canine is the canine unit. So it's kind of like a dog with a little camera on the bottom for a head, which can rotate a little. You got the legs, which are kind of hinged. They can be can go forward and back. These can rotate. And then you got the feet, which are ball jointed, and the back legs can rotate. They're, it's jointed enough, but if you pull it too much, it'll come out. So it's a little bit annoying. And of course it has the uh, new sniper rifle, which can peg right on the top. Or, you just flip the peg in, put the, um, what is that, the stock, and then push this down. And now the uh, GM can use it, and it has a peg on the one side. So, just do what we did before. Ah. I never really liked how these hands paid together. There's a little, There needs to be a little more uh, substance in the hand, I think, how it connects. But oh well. And there you have it. Now, this would be better with the... Uh, the hand that has the extra joint on it? Or is this the one? No, it's not. So, uh, this one's kind of bent, so it would work better with this one. But you can still do it. It has a stick for a scope. It has the extra handle here. And a little kind of stand. Like a spear you can put into the ground, I suppose. And it looks pretty good. I like it. And of course, the backpack itself. It has a little movable piece which detaches, it has all these thrusters, only this one moves. And if you open up the bottom, you got little army men, which is actually pretty neat. Little army guys. There's two different, actually there's three different ones I think. There's this guy standing. There is, uh, here we go. There's a guy shooting. And there is one guy shooting just the uh, a handgun. So there's like a two set, like a two sets of each. So like six little guys, which you can't really store inside. I found they can only really store three, maybe four, if you cram them in, and still be able to close the door. Now you can actually mount this on the back. All you have to do is flip the head down. And then you're supposed to straighten all the legs. You actually push these in to kind of collapse them. Like that. I suppose these would actually have extra thrusters for the, uh, the GM. And then you just have to slide it onto the uh, hook here so you push it into it, and then slide down, and then it locks into place, and it's pretty secure. So it has a backpack. So it's pretty nice. Definitely gives me the feel of the Seraphim from the uh, Cerevi. So maybe we'll see some canine Cerevis or Seraphims in <laughs> customs in the future. Who knows? So those are all the accessories. You get quite a lot in this set. Oh, and I almost forgot. If you really, really want, you can make an original GM sniper. Because you get 
all of the little pieces that you need, if you really want to. I don't. I really like the accessories. I like all the uh, stuff it comes with. My only real problem is that, like I said, the hips, the legs do come off a little too easily with these added holsters, but that's the only real problem. I, everything's pretty nice on this kit. Now let's compare this guy to its uh, main enemy in the show, the Camper Amazing. And of course, the kit it was based off, the GM Sniper 2. And as you can see, just a, quite a few new parts added to this guy, which and the different color scheme. But it definitely looks uh, rather different, especially with the backpack. So that is the GM Sniper K9. I really like this. I like GMs in the first place. And with all this new stuff, it definitely can go toe-to-toe -to -toe with some of the other uh, Gundam-esque mobile suits in the show. Which is cool. So that's about it, and I'll see you at the next review.